welcome back uh, so we were talking with mahen ratnayak and he he raised an interesting question uh, in terms of tech hiring and how outsourcing those two things we really need to discuss i think first thing is where you should work i mean where i mean till now where you you would work a uh, reputable place or a place where you have a challenge uh, the second one calling up because uh, uh i think uh, in especially in tech industry calling uh, you can learn uh, i mean new things are coming uh, at a very fast pace right yeah. so if you want to like uh, you are ca- you if you want to like develop your career you, i think you need to like uh, uh learn a lot and i mean uh, learn by yourself and uh, take up a challenge so uh, and make mistakes right try and learn is the best way to learn right yeah. so uh, uh i mean uh, in a corporate environment i think you are stuck in a same doing same thing right yeah so uh, i think it's better to like take up the challenge and do something challenging yeah so i think as when you work for a bigger corporate entities what happens is you get stuck to a assembly line yeah i mean literally assembly line so you just it, come at it and do the same thing you did yesterday and mm-hmm. leave at five because how they do it is um, the corporates want to have easy replaceable employees so they Correct. train you to do a certain thing you do that and that's it that's the only thing you can do but if you get into a startup company or a small company which you have to do multiple things which happens to me when yeah. i join this uh, company like i think now it's back here 2001 to so when i joined that company which is like 15 years ago i did everything i sweep the floor i'm not ashamed to say it because like that's i mean we had three people there so we used to do everything make our own tea i mean like this is just example i'm not saying you gain yeah. you know uh, domain knowledge but and again i did make get some domain domain knowledge because now when that company grew into a bigger company when these people have, i actually know how to make a tea all right right so that's that's just an a simple example because i know where our stationery was mm. i know how we did banking yeah. because i got involved in accounting i knew how the accounting part was happening so i knew how the management part was happening i knew how the tech was happening especially yeah. your first job calling so yeah. you get a chance really good chance to like uh, look into every each and every aspect of the business and Uh, to choose something you love right yeah. uh, without going to a like a very big company and do something uh, you can like uh, join a startup or uh, a new company and uh, see how everything works right yeah. so in a small company you get to do uh, as calling i said everything i mean like th- me and till work on daily basis and we i mean like every day it's a challenge for us right, right. and every day we learn so i mean still learn from things i mean obviously we get to learn on daily basis and it it keeps our brain sharp because you always get a challenge i mean there was um, recently went to one of those uh, actually my kid was going to school and we had a seminar and one of the um, how do you call them um, a doctor came in who's a psychologist basically and he was talking about how your brain right how your brain works so he was talking about um, wh- what do you call the co- comfort uh so yeah so basically uh it's like a xy so you you have the pressure you know like the you know you get pressured and like you have to do this you know mm-hmm. your brain that's when your brain start to work optimal right yeah. you hit a certain point and then um after that what happens is it start to stagnate and just goes down mm-hmm. so the what they say is amount of pressure you can take and how well is stagnate for a long time it's where your comfort zone is so you get challenged a lot on a daily basis your brain works at the optimal level and you're not lazing around you're not doing anything but if you can keep in that comfort zone you have a like a really functioning brain i mean obviously we how mu- how much of a brain power we actually use right yeah. so it's small so these these are the things you need to do i mean when you are starting up as mm. you know when you're think, going uh, to you job. need to like love what you do right yeah exactly uh, without like taking it as a stress or something you have to do to someone else but if you love what you are doing then this everything makes very easy yeah. to do so a lot of people must be wondering what this got to do with tech it got everything to do with tech because we wouldn't have this uh, there's a 
nice quote. Uh, I, I'm not sure who said it, but he said uh, the light bulb didn't come from op, you know optimizing the candle. Yeah, it's a new thing. Right? It's a new thing. So your brain works. Tech works in a similar way because you you refine certain things to a certain level and you just simply give it up and you know go into something else. That's what Mahin was doing. He's just doing yeah. something else and he realized it doesn't work. Yeah. So that's uh, how. Yeah, in a company like Google, calling it, they give a twenty percent free time for the developers or anyone who works to do what they want, right? Yeah. So in that time, calling it. so many softwares has uh, come to the world so yeah. gmail for an example is a result of that 20% free time yeah. so developers has used that free time to develop something really good yeah. amazing thing so yesterday i read this article about uh, developers using this 20% uh, free time to improve google maps yeah so they have like marked every i mean so many places where wheelchairs can go and wheelchairs can't go so if a wheelchair user search for a google uh, location then the wheelchair users can see so. if uh, it's accessible or not so yeah. these little things makes world better every day right yeah so that's all the time for today's show uh, we'll see you next week wednesday 8:30 see you